Okay, got new plans for shelters. New book. Your sim has found the Biscuits Isles by Lord R. Sticky Wick. It has more goals for your sim. So when I was reading How to Get Die, it said something about this book. So I might be able to unlock die recipes with that. Lord Reginald thought these llama people were important. You should- your sim should find out more. So we're on Volcano Island now. These are cool. Look how good it looks. Chili peppers. Grapefruits. Oh, we have somewhere we can climb right here. Yeah, the lava is cool. And then there's these llama heads. If we had a shelter, this is probably where it would go. But I don't think I want my house to be at the beginning of the island. I kind of want it to be more in. But this is a nice spot. We can have multiple homes. When in doubt, look to the llama. You mean the one right there? We could do that. We could have a cute little shore house. And then our mansion will be farther in. Because we're tired and I think we're going to definitely need to fix that energy to move on. Let's see what we can do. Probably can't make something that great. And we're gonna need a lot. The mansion bungalow. Is this still the best thing? We need a way to get sandalwood. I didn't- I hope there's- there's somewhere to get clay, I'm sure. Irregular cabin. Cabins are roomy and mostly resistant to weather. That's nice. Shel this shelter has a uniquely shaped living room with two small side rooms, a small porch, and a medium-sized back porch. This has rooms. <laughs> What's in the mansion? Bungalows are very roomy and resistant to weather. Love to hear that. The shelter has a wide, spacious living area. The West Wing. Oh my god. It has a... <laughs> the West Wing features a large, multi-purpose room, while the East Wing has two smaller rooms, a lavish back porch, runs the entire length of the shelter. Oh my gosh, I need this. Uh, it'd be cool to have this n neat cabin here at the shore, but we definitely can't afford it. We're probably going to end up making the exact same thing that we had at the other island. I kind of don't want something closed off. I could try to do something really small and then can we get delete it and replace it with the cabin when we come back? Closed hut, open hut. We could do this since we don't want to use a ton of our shell of our resources, maybe. can put it I guess we can't put it there any upgrades to beds no no new furniture yeah I'm not seeing any new furniture to make 
Where's the fancy mansion furniture to go with our mansion later? Oh god, we can make the molded maid a gardener. Get plants. Just put some of our stuff down and fix our needs. What else do we want? I'm not gonna put everything down, like the table and stuff. I'm not gonna do that here. I'm just gonna have this for now. Shouldn't you do the roof first? In case it rains? Now you're too tired. Alright. It's the beginning of the day and now we're sleeping. Don't rain. Please. Sweet. What? That's in the way. And then I can't access those because the bed's in the way. Okay. It's nice that we can actually see in here, because we have a wall missing on one side. We can actually look in here, kind of like a dollhouse. Can I have a dolphin fish? I didn't want to click that one. With an average IQ of over 185, even the dumbest dolphin fish is much smarter than you. Well, thanks. <laughs> not smart enough to not get caught. Fish with chutney. <sighs> Just put it on the ground to use the bathroom. All right, let's throw it in the ocean. Oh, now it's gone. Fish with chutney is fine, but a tuna omelet, everything's wrong. Oh, I didn't know it was making fish chutney. A pompano, that's new. Stripped bass. 
Hi, Abby. Good to see you. How's it going? A kingfish? I'm sure the description for that one's gonna be great. Can you... Where's the jumping fish? That's good to hear. I'm doing okay. No? There's nothing. Let's see if we can go... Pompano. The Pompano fish is toothless with a blunt snout scaring absolutely no one. <laughs> stripped bass. Or is it stripped or striped? Striped? Horizontal stripes make this bass look fat. Vertical would have been much more slimming. Oh my god. <laughs> Kingfish. The kingfish is king in name only, but still rules what he can with an iron fin. Canary rockfish. These fish are commonly used in Anawaner coal mines to warn of impending danger. I could sit here and just read the description of everything. There's so many fish, fruits, and veggies that just have fun descriptions, I swear. Which ones have I not read before? Meteor perch. The meteor perch is a horizontally striped fish that has nothing whatsoever to do with meteors. Hence its name. <laughs> Albacore tuna. This highbrow tuna is known in the fish world for its snappy dressing and droll humor. As for most lamps, placing your face directly above this one may result in a spookier and more dramatic visage. <laughs> Sand buddies aren't just for castaways. People everywhere are discovering the special rewards of sand friendship. Help put an end to dining chair collapse syndrome by upgrading to this sturdier model. Just dig a pit and start a fire in it. It's really that simple. Without a rug. I'm sorry. That's not what it looks like in the game. What's this thumbnail? Without a rug, don't be surprised if you accidentally fall asleep on your floor one day and wake up covered in fauna. No. What is this? It's you see. What is this thumbnail? They're using the same one. Here's a fun experiment. Once you finish weaving this rug, wrap a few bugs in it to test its snugnicity. I'm not putting bugs in my rug. <laughs> For a convenient place to store your favorite wad of chewing gum, try sticking it underneath this adequate tabletop. There, for occasions that require a simple rhythmic device, just throw some cherry pits in a coconut and shake it all about. As snug as a bug in a rug. Yeah. Coops are like low income housing for chickens, only roomier and with quieter neighbors. Oh, I did read this one before. The radio from Llama Fright's ill fated flight 227 is miraculously intact. A testament to the bygone era of high-quality American manufacturing. 
You can keep it in your pocket. You can keep it on a shelf. A pocket knife is handy until you cut yourself. True. <laughs> if you're lonely for someone to talk to, hold a banana to your ear and pretend it's a telephone. Your things to cleave list will get shorter and shorter once you make a shell axe, so chop to it. Ancient man trapped chickens by playing a primitive musical instrument, then hitting them with it. I do remember reading that. This skirt sports an unfinished hemline. All in all, it looks like a charming upside down back sit. Yeah, that's why I don't wear it anymore. It looks weird. Your arms now smell as fragrant as the flower adorning your wrist if you only could wear a giant flower. I guess we could sleep and go to the next area. Definitely want this with us. Hope we don't lose energy on our way. Let's go. Are you joking? You would be here. We got Queen Lufa Lava to her husband. Queen Lufa Lava was a real battle axe. But to her subjects, she was much, much worse. Oh, God. Can I not have hiccups when I'm trying to read? What does that mean? It's just worse? There's King. King Lufa Lava was once ruler of all he surveyed, which was a fairly large area given his abnormally acute vision. Sorry, before the energy goes down. Go. Okay, we're good. We have the energy. Can it... <sighs> Climbing up the volcano, I guess. Now, are we too exhausted? I love that so much. Your sim has found a pirate's guide to retirement manuscript. It has more goals. Okay. These are later goals. What are you doing? Okay. This is- shipwrecked is all done. How about this one? Those are all done. Those are done. So we unlocked this when we entered. Find a hot spring. Find the llama temple. Reach the volcano summit. Find the other beach. Find all four royal statues. We just got that. Repair the ceremonial forge. Find the llama king's crown. Perform a cliff dive. <laughs> okay. Build a cabin, build two cabin chairs. I plan on it if I actually could get the resources. Oh, I never read these. If you have made it this far, then you have avoided immediate death. Congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> now let's turn our thoughts to impending death. The best way to avoid impending death is to start thinking long term about your survival prospects. It's time to start developing some skills and tools that will help you survive over the long haul. I should have read this at the start. And the island one. This is the journal of Lord Reni Reginald Wayne Scott Sticky Wick Von Dawsonwald. Is that really your name? That's ridiculous. 37th Earl of Biscuit and his documentation of the proceedings of the first expedition of the HMS Poodle under the command of Captain J. Artemis Mug. 
As noted in an earlier journal, we have shipwrecked on an island and have established a small settlement awaiting rescue. Today we discovered we were not alone when we met a small furry man who had a shocking disregard for our love. <laughs> Chimps are out to get me. Our uh, This is the Journal of John Wilson, aka Beard Beard the Pirate, Dread Scourge of the Seven Seas, Border of Ships, Plunderer of Gold, Ex Fenestrator of Fancy Men and Their Fancy Ways. Our Today, we return to our home base after a long voyage of plundering and looting and I have ordered my men to further explore our island and prepare for another voyage of adventure. If you have read this far, you have probably given up hope of a quick rescue. Or perhaps you have decided to say goodbye to the real world and you are ready to more firmly establish your new tropical home. In either event, welcome to the exciting world of dirt farming. Foraging for food requires a lot of energy, and if you can collect all of your food in one place, you can maximize your chance of survival by minimizing your exposure to the wilds of the wilderness. So grab a hoe and let's go. <laughs> so that catches us up where we are now. I have arrived on the third island, the final survivor of the HMS Poodle, having paddled to safety on the back of my manservant, Haythorn Thwaite. As for the others, their fate lies inscribed somewhere in the belly of a jungle boar, who ate my second journal as I fled for safety at Haythen Borthwaite's whatever that is. Suffice it to say that the crew fell to the multiple miseries of a dozen muttonies, the unslaked hunger of ravenous boars and an ill-advised journey across a span of devil quicksand, which I have named Biscuit Sand in my honor. Okay. And here. <coughs> Are by my seven beards, I have never met a woman as stubborn as my mother. The dread pirate Edith, we are now three years since she interrupted the preparations for my next voyage, and she has now commanded my equipment and my men to build herself a country villa so that she may retire in peace. I curse her and her peanut butter cookies. <laughs> Is there anywhere to put this? Oh god. This one spot. Got it. I'm gonna sleep through the rest of the night? Maybe? Please? No, no. We're not gonna watch it start raining. I don't think so. It's looking good. There we go. Now we can actually explore this area. Alright, let's check everything out. Tie leaves. Did we have... We have an okay amount of these. Stop harvesting. This is hardwood. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We need this. Okay. We need fun. Harvest honeycomb. That sounds dangerous, and I, I'm curious, do we have to take precautions? We need something for this, don't we? What do we do? Oh, is this what the torch was for? I'm in the wrong menu. Just pull a workbench out.
Okay. So... Let's check this out. Oh, we have new stuff. A wood fishing pole. We can upgrade. Fish traps. An umbrella. We have our banana leaf for when it rains. What's an umbrella for? <laughs> you need twine. So the torch, I think, is what we need. Bees drop smoke bees. This is totally not a bad idea. <laughs> okay. A torch that's currently on fire. Just put that in her pocket. Honeycomb. Honeycombs are labyrinths of tiny spaces, not unlike an office full of cubicles. Sounds delicious to me. Anything else we can do? Could probably make the twine and get that fishing run. Oh. We need wood? Is there any soft wood around here? Oh, now it's raining. Of course there's like hardwood trees everywhere, not normal wood. There it is. I wonder if I can get away with dancing real quick. I'm worried about our fun making it so we can't collect stuff. Also getting hungry. I'm gonna do just a little bit. All right, what does this area have to offer? Garlic. There's something new right there. I hear monkeys. We have new monkeys on this island to make friends with. What are these? Avocados. They don't really look like that on the tree. Getting a lot of hardwood. I hear monkeys and I don't see them. Cherries. Bunch of do we want more? I don't know if they're in other areas. I'm 
Okay. Is this all hardwood? New tree. What are these? Macadamia nuts. Gotta go to hockey. Alright, have fun. Sounds fun. I got another new plant. So we got avocados, macadamia nuts here. Oh, these are bad. I mean, this kind of looks like a flower. Soap? We just ate soap. Is that a hint that we're finally gonna... Can we craft bathtubs and showers soon? Pokeberries. Our mood is super bad. <gasps> Look at that. It's a hot spring! It's our new bathtub. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh god. I mean, it must be hot as hell. I'm sure. You found a treasure map piece. Yes. You're too hungry to sit in the hot spring, really? You're in there for two seconds. Find the hot springs. Oh, we can. I'm gonna move this away. So you put my bed near. Without catching it on fire. Oh, okay. Guess we're sleeping on this side. Is that on top? You're gonna make me go all the way around? Let's just eat first. We'll deal with that. Let's eat a kingfish. See one more time. Eat a pompano. Oh, a tuna. That's more hunger. Let's get back on the spring. Fix our hygiene. Is that helping? Yeah, hygiene's going up. Mm. Low energy. How do we get up there? This way? Ooh. Oh, now it's raining when I'm tired. Can you please? <laughs> Got another piece of that. So I think, so there's two springs and it probably didn't matter which one you got into to get the treasure piece. This one doesn't do anything. Okay, have we collected most of what was here? I remember every time I have entered this area, I always had a hard time finding 
the way to the next area. I think it's actually close to this. Oh, you can see the feet right there. Is this where we came? Guys are planes. No, that's actually the way to go. Nice. Just double checking there. We could sleep in the geyser planes, I guess. Even though it sounds like it's probably very loud over there. Ooh. Our first orchids. I think these are unique to the silence. I haven't seen them before. But I saw blue is used a lot in recipes. Crafting. Let's go here. <laughs> that was a very quiet sobbing. We're probably gonna have to get away with doing like really cheap roofing and and then replace it. I'm maybe I should just focus on a roof. Just so she can have something. I'm gonna guess we'll try this. I don't think she'll build it. Well, she is. Is she gonna get too tired? Yeah. How are you supposed to do that? You're not gonna be able to sleep because it's raining. What? It stopped. It stopped raining. Sleep. Hurry. We've had so much rain in this stream. Are you joking? It stopped raining. For like two seconds. Do you have enough energy to build this now? Repair? The rain is gonna destroy the roof. This is a mess. So have this, inspect that. <laughs> yep. Well, I don't know. You found every hieroglyphic steel. You mount the wall size version on your home. Well, you know what that means. Is it going to be this menu? Yes. Hieroglyphic piece. We're going to make this... Our clothes just get destroyed again. Will they repair that? Nice. So, 
Let's look at our new item. The hieroglyphics on this cell are so open to interpretation that you can read the same sim symbols every day and get a different story each time. Ten environment. You know what this looks like? This looks like he could fit in there. Yeah, she just pulled it out. <laughs> cool. Do you have the energy for this? Let's go inside. This is the Llama Temple. It's kind of in ruins. Um, I'm sad that this is broken. I'm curious, would have this piece looked like this one? You can take a sit in our magnificent new chair. This is ours now. <laughs> if we can't make it a mansion, well, this could be our new home. It's not much of like a home, though. Look, this looks like a big huge fireplace right here it's the llama crown we found the crown you know what that means yeah i, I think you can build here i don't know how much room it lets you Hell yeah! <laughs> yes. I look wonderful. <laughs> it's so big. Play music? We have a monkey horn? <laughs> Get out of here. What are you doing in here? Our clothes are ruined again? What? Oh, you sound, um... Great. You should stop. Please. There's a chicken in here. It's a really cool place. So we have a broken forge. This is also be really cool, like a workbench to convert. <laughs> Repair the forge. We metal tools. Oh, gone. A new island has risen from the sea near Pier Beach. Ominous. That is weird. We'll have to go back there soon. There's another place we need to go return to in the cave. And then we have this new island to check out. Glass set. Just 
passed out. Are her eyes wide open? You can see her eyes are... <sighs> I guess we should eat. She probably won't craft because she's too hungry. I know it's good to use the stove for more hunger, but it's like I need a fireplace anyway to just dispose of the dishes. I don't want to leave them around here and make the place all gross. Oh, we have new ones. This is the one we have, a hut stove, a cabin stove, and bungalow stove. Ooh, okay. You need so much more for the cabin. Should we eat a shark? Is it time? Eat a towhead shark. With some... I don't know. Rice. Nut crusted fish. I used rice, not nuts. Are you serious? She walked herself to the throne to eat. And look at the light. There's just light shining down on her. <laughs> okay. She has to feast on the throne. Are you kidding? Ugh. Well, I'm I'm glad that you're not going to pee on the thro on the ground. You know, you don't want to make your new palace disgusting. But now you need to m clean up your mess. So let's look at this. So we need metal ore, and I think you get this at the top of the volcano. Can't do any of that. Glass. Oh, fine sand. And message in a bottle. Can make some glass out of that. That's why I've been- every bottle we've picked up, I've kept. Because I remember that you could do that. I don't think there's any other use for them. 